Hey guys, I'm back with another video. At this particular time, I've got the Cerebrant one terabyte NVMe uh, drive that I'm getting ready to install in my um, Alienware M15 R2. I bought it uh, originally, the specs were one single 500 gig SSD and I'm going to leave that one in slot one. This will be slot two. Um, so let's take the laptop apart. Okay, so here's the laptop. First thing I'm going to do is uh, make sure this thing is powered off, which it's not. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, power this thing down. Start shut down. Shut down anyway. Uh, I, I posted a video a little earlier on the thermals. I played a uh, state of decay. I played it in the window and uh, it performed awesome. Uh, I was getting well over 60 frames per second through the whole game. I was running that on ultra. Let me show you guys this. This is the device that I, well not device, it's actually a GoPro hat mount that I would never wear. Uh, and I use this to uh, prop up the back of the case. And I probably had that back there for several years. I used it with the uh, my other laptop. So just want to show you that. It's a nice wedge. It lifts it up almost an inch or so off the ground. All right. Hold on a second here. Laptop so new that I want to be able to not tear up. It's probably the negative to the white is you don't want it to get dirty. All right, there we go. I need to. All right, hold on. Got a screwdriver. Let's take this thing apart. Looks like these screws are the uh, kind that stay with the back as opposed to having to pull those out or they're not coming out anyway. So far we've done four across the back. Yeah, they're not coming out. I think they're, and then an additional two down the side. The other thing I'm, I'm wondering about also, actually that one came out. Um, the other thing I wonder about too, uh, I live in Tennessee and uh, my laptop was actually built in the town over in, Mer in uh, Mount Juliet. So I'm wondering if that's not why we get the consistency between these laptops are not um, the same. They're not being built out of the same area. All right, let's see. Oh, it came right off, not easily, too. Okay, so it looks like just the bottom two, it's just these two that, that actually come out. All right, there we go. New screwdriver. Put that screw there. Again, I've got the uh, Sabrent one terabyte drive. I'm going to paperwork. Follow that. And here is the uh, drive. Now we're going to go on. Snapped in. Crap. Alright, there we go. Alright. That's in there. Get these 
guys here I'm really hoping that uh, Dell does have some type of upgrade path where we can uh, send these things back in I hope you're listening Dell and uh, allow some of us that were early adopters to be able to uh, upgrade the memory I'm still a little not 110 percent sure about 16 gig although I had have had no issues whatsoever it could just be that the faster drive along with the uh, uh, faster CPU helps mitigate some of that, but um, I'd still like to have at least 24. Right, last two. And uh, I'm not going to copy anything. This is just going to be a net new drive. I think there's been some issues with the uh, new... new um, formatting or the uh, sector sizes of some of these being 4k uh, it causes problems when you try to clone your drive over so we're just going to do net new all right here it is again it's very very light very thin I mean you see it's um, you can see just from the USB it's not much larger than uh, thickness in terms of the uh, size of a USB port All right, guys, here's the drive here, sitting here with uh, 953 gig. What a, what a crock that is. Uh, but anyway, I'm not here to complain about how much disk space we lose every time we format these darn things. But the larger the drive, the more you lose. Anyway, I hope this video can help somebody out. Um, you know, like, subscribe, and uh, if there's anything else you'd like to see with this laptop, let me know. Have a great day.